Turn one is fourth gear. Brake just before the 150 marker and roll on and off about half brake pedal and turn in about the 100 marker. There's a dip in the track after the bridge and before apex that will cause understeer. Go to full power as quickly as you can and don't lift. The track rises into its slight banking before apex so the bounce will move slightly rearward, but if you're already transitioning to power the car should stay planted. Don't worry too much about hitting the yellow curb on the inside as it shouldn't upset the SRF too much. And here you can see I took quite a bit of the curbing. You can get a cut course penalty if you're too far to the inside, so of course be careful. After apex, the track dips again and the car will again pick up understeer, so be ready. If you go wide on exit, center the steering and ease off the throttle, and you should be able to retain control and rejoin the track. The chicane. Still in fourth gear, turn in using a straight line that will connect the two apex curbs. After you cross the first curb, begin your braking. Again, roll on with not quite half pedal. Here I overslowed a tad. Stay close to the track edge on the left. I'm about a half car width to a car's width too far to the inside here because of the slight overslowing on entry. Roll on to full power when the tires will let you. Third gear. Brake just as you center out the steering and downshift a third. Aim for the medium gray patch that you can just barely see the start of here. You want to go a little bit deep into the corner so that you can diamond off the radius and get back to full power for the long straightaway. If you stay tight to the curbing, you'll be forced into a longer, wider radius that will prevent you from getting to power as quickly. As the car clears the crest, start coming down to apex and rolling onto full power. Look for the Honda billboard. If you can't see it, you're probably too early. Here, I'm a tad too early with my apexing and power, and it cost me at least a tenth down the straightaway. Turn 4, 3rd gear. Brake hard about 250 and turn in at about the 100 mark, trailing in some brake at turn in. You really want to be at power before the apex curb and not bouncing off of it like I did here. Don't track out further than midway across the track. Turn 5, still 3rd gear. Turn in and give a small squeeze on the brakes to slow down a little bit. You want to get almost all of your steering done before the crest of the hill. Balance the car with throttle if needed. Again, I'm a little bit too early with a little bit too much steering input. Turn 6. Again, third gear. Turn in, and again, about half brake pedal. The car is heavily loaded on the left side, so it will rotate with proper brake application. Use that to your advantage. Again, I'm a fraction too early. Turn 7. This corner helps determine your line into turn 9, so try to apex right before the end of the curbing. Turn 9, third gear. The car is heavily loaded to the left side due to the corner, and the compression in the track will move the weight forward. Unwind the steering before smoothly coming onto brakes. A longer, smoother brake pedal will work better than a faster, shorter stab as it won't affect your balance as much. Again, get your steering done before the crest of the hill and be at full power before the crest also. Look for the gap in the tree line as a reference point. That big gap is parallel to the track out curbing and the end of the gap in the tree line is where the curbing ends. Turn 10, 4th gear. Hug the right side wall as close as you can. Tapping the wall can often break your car, so don't do that. Roll on about half brake at about 200 and turn in at the grass verge. Apex right at the beginning of the curbing, but be careful for the easy 1x that's right there. The car will understeer badly after apex, so get your steering done before apex. Carousel, 3rd gear. Stay to the right at the approach. 
heavy braking before the crest that will trail off after the crest and then drop down to third gear. Use the car's oversteer to help you turn in. Get to full power by the time you can see the start-finish tower and center out your steering for the final left-hand corner.